Hey everybody, this is The Fourth here, and in this video, I wanted to show you how the Fruity Panomatic Effect plugin works in FL Studio. And it's a pretty simple plugin that is primarily intended to provide you with some automation of your panning. So you can hear my original drum beat here. And I can make adjustments to it using the Fruity Panomatic. So the first two controls you have are up here, and they are the pan and volume. And these just set the foundation of your panning and volume of the sound. So you can hear that if I adjust them while playing the drum beat. And I can also control them just by clicking in the little grid here and dragging the point around. If I make vertical adjustments, it will be the volume and horizontal will be the panning. And then next up you have the LFO options. So by default, the LFO is off and you can choose for the LFO to control either the pan or the volume. And so in this video we're going to focus on panning, but the volume will work essentially the same way. Except instead of controlling the pan, it will control the volume. So for the LFO you have two knobs and then you can select the LFO shape. The two knobs are amount and the speed. And for the amount, if you don't want any LFO to happen, you would take it all the way down. And then if you want it to pan across the whole stereo field, you would push it all the way up. And anywhere in between those values, we'll pan it to some extent based on how high that level is. And the speed knob just controls the speed of that LFO, where faster speeds are achieved by pushing the speed knob to a higher level, and slower speeds are achieved by reducing the level of the speed knob. And then for the LFO shape, you have three different options. The first is a sine wave. The second is a triangle wave, which provides you with a more linear automation. And the last is the square wave, which will fluctuate only between the maximum values. So that is how you use the Fruity Panomatic in FL Studio. And if you don't use FL Studio, there may be a similar effect plugin that you can use within your digital audio workstation.